you to know what your comes. Puff Daddy? Yeah. P. Diddy, whatever you call himself. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the boule. The, the, boule. the boule is a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. It's the black people. I had settlement with Sean, okay? And he belongs to that agenda. That's why he's so famous. They land all the contracts. It's his attorneys, which are Mark Garagos and Ben Mercedes. I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would, uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard a lot of business because when they would do this, Sean talks a lot on the on the phone and on the TV with speaking and stuff and I would be in the, I was like a sex slave, okay? For them, that's what I was. That's all, all right? Um, I caught herpes and I came back and I sued him for the herpes and won. But they didn't did, Mark Eros and Ben Mercedes were his attorneys, okay? And Christopher Leons here was my attorney. They asked me to turn in that, which was the video recording, and I did so. They gave it back to me accidentally, and it's possible, I, I threw everything out, it's possible I can produce a copy. Mark Eros used to be Michael Jackson attorney. Yeah, out in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. he had a... Yeah, he dropped Michael and they all did him, okay? He didn't overdose. They all did him. Because they keep the royalties of the music. Michael alone made eight hundred and sixty million dollars alone last year. What happened is Diddy and Ross, which they good buddies, okay, mm -hmm. they they they're gay. Who? Both. Diddy and Ross and Callan. They're all gay. Okay? DJ Kelly, Rick Ross, yeah. and Diddy? Yeah. They're all gay? Yeah. Gotcha. Right. Callan is a Hamas supporter. Okay. A who supporter? Hamas. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I said the wrong uh, No, no, no. Word. no word. Hamas supporter. Okay. All right. Basically, he's Arab, Palestinian. Okay. Um. The Ciroc agenda, okay, is basically binge drinking poured out on a yacht. They promote binge drinking and drugs. Gotcha. Um, the hip hop agenda was supported, was laid out by Obama during his last presidencies purposely. That's why they had Chupac killed, because when they kill them, you gain fame. When people, your record sales go up, and then people listen to your lyrics and everything, and then you become famous, okay? That's how they do it, all right? Um, Chupac's still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's in Cuba. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what happens is from the hip-hop agenda is an agenda to move drugs along in the United States. They move, you need to involve the DEA. They, they move all the dope, okay, all the dope on private jets, which don't get screened by, by, uh... By customs? By, by, by the DEA. Okay. Inside the United States, okay? They, they move what's called high-grade powdered MDMA. They move cocaine and they move uh, liquid cocaine in the bottles too. Okay, so they put the liquid cocaine in the bottles and they move it. I've seen the liquid cocaine, I've drank it myself, having sex with Gideon Cassie. Okay, it's not good. He drinks it all the time. 